Hello again. Today we're going to do lesson 2.5 in Waves Energy and Information. And we're going to look at another model of energy transfer. We're going to do a shortened version of this lesson because some of the original stuff in this lesson has us interacting as a class and that's a little bit harder to do online. So we're going to use a video instead. Now we're going to think back to particle collision models, one that we've already done and then one that we're going to take a look at. So I want you to think for a moment, what did you learn by investigating the collisions that we did with coins? And remember that we are investigating that question, how does sound energy travel through a material? So now I want you to think about what is happening to the energy when particles collide. Piece hits a piece, hits a piece, hits a piece. Now think about how the sound energy is traveling from the source to the listener through the material. And to do that, we're actually going to look at one more model as well. So you learned something about this by investigating with coins. And then let's look at another model of this. So when we did the coins, you probably saw that our nickel hit our penny, which then hit another penny, which then hit another penny. And that was also like the sim where we saw one particle hit another, hit another, hit another, hit another. And that was all caused because the sound put out some energy, which caused that first round of particles to hit stuff, hit more particles. So let's look at another model. Let's see if we can do that one more time. So to me, that's the model I thought of when I was thinking of a different type of model. And so let's think about what happened there. So the first question is, what direction did the sound energy travel? Well, I saw that the energy started here and then the sound wave or the I'm sorry the sound energy traveled in the same direction that the energy started so energy started here and it followed the same line and it all did go in a line now what happened to the energy each time a domino hit one another this one hit this one hit the next one and so the word I'm going to use is that the energy transferred. Energy started with this very first domino, and then it bumped over this one, which then transferred the energy to this one, which then to this one, and so on. And so we're actually going to do a diagram of sound energy. Now this is something that you can do if you have access to Amplify at home, and if not, we're going to work our way through it together. So remember, we're marine scientists, and we're helping Blue Bay Park, the Blue Bay Park superintendent, figure out how mother dolphins and their calves send signals through the water to find each other. So we're going to apply what we've been learning about energy transfer to dolphin communication, and we're going to use a digital tool. And so if you go to your student apps page, if you do have access to Amplify, I'll show you what mine looks like. So I've got all different grade levels here and I'm going to go all the way down to waves, energy and information. And if I click on 2.5 particle model, it's going to bring up this tool for me. Now I can do a couple different things with this tool. I have this <clears throat> arrow showing me the direction that energy travels. So if I think it's that way, I can do that way. I can also flip this around and we can do the energy transferring any way that we want. 
And then I also want to show where energy transfer is happening. So where is energy transferring from one particle to another? And I want to put in who is the source and who is the listener. So those are the different things that we need to do with this model. So let's think about this. The first thing that we're gonna do is identify who is the source and who is the listener. Well, if I go back to our page, we wanna find out how the mother dolphin and their calves send signals through the water to find each other. And so if I'm thinking about this from the very first problem that we got, I'm gonna think about the mother calf sending the signal. I'm sorry, the mother dolphin sending the signal to her calf. And so if the mother dolphin is the one sending the signal, she is the source, which means that our calf is the listener. All right, now the energy we've seen comes from the source and goes to the listener, and it goes in the same direction. And so if my mother dolphin is the source and my calf is the listener, then I know that the energy goes this way, from the source to the listener. Okay, the last thing I see that I can add is energy transfer. So let's say mother dolphin sends out energy from the source, and she is gonna hit that particle, which I think that particle is gonna run into that one, so it's gonna do energy transfer there. Then that particle, which we can't really see anymore, maybe it's going to hit that particle. Then I think that particle is going to hit that one, so I'm gonna put in that energy transfer. That particle is gonna hit that one. That particle is gonna hit that one. I think you're getting the hang of this. That particle is gonna hit that one. That particle is gonna hit that one. And then that particle is going to transfer its energy to the listener, which is the calf. So that's what I think this looks like for me. Yours might look a little bit different, but notice we used a lot of energy transfer here and we're not even showing all of it. So let's think, we just did that diagramming tool. It show, it's a model, so it showed us some things that it did really well, but it might not be able to show us everything. So if I go back to my sorting tool, what are some things that it does well? Maybe take a moment to pause the video and tell somebody in your family or in your house, what's a great thing about this model and what's something that it doesn't show us a good job of? When you're ready, come back. All right, welcome back. One of the things that I thought about is I think this shows a pretty good job of showing the particles. I can visualize underwater what these particles look like. Now, something I didn't think this showed very well is it doesn't show motion. In the simulation, we can see the movement happening. In this one, we don't. And so that, I think, is what I listed as one of the things this doesn't do quite as well. And remember, we're trying to answer that question, how does sound energy travel through water from a mother dolphin to her calf? Well, in the diagramming tool, the sound energy traveled from the source, the mother dolphin, and then that source, that energy, hit one particle, which transferred energy to another, which transferred energy to another, which transferred energy to another. None of the pieces moved very much. They didn't fly all over the place. They just bumped bumped, bumped, and really didn't travel that far. So now let's take a minute and describe how we think the sound energy can get from the mother dolphin to her calf. I'm picturing the mother dolphin. I'm visualizing the mother dolphin. I'm visualizing her putting out a sound. I'm visualizing that sound bumping some particles. I'm visualizing those particles bumping more, bumping more, bumping more. The particles stay where they are, they just do a little bump, and that causes the next layer of particles, the next round, to do another bump, and another bump. So it's all of these particles moving just a little bit, but smacking into one another. 
Now, you might be keeping a list of some of the scientific words that we've been working on. We've talked about source, the mother dolphin in our example, visualize, explaining, material, collision, particle, those little pieces, and now we have transfer. And transfer, very simply, is to move something from one place to another. So when we're talking about energy transferring, the energy is moving from one piece of, or one particle to another after that collision. That's all we have for today. Tomorrow, we're actually going to write to the superintendent and let her know what we've found out. I'll see you tomorrow.